There are five steps that you must follow for you to be able to be a power delegator. And none of these steps can be skipped because then the result at the end of the day will not be anywhere near equal nor better than if you had done it yourself. The first step for you to be able to be a power delegator is you must define clearly what it is to be delegated and you need to be clear, complete, concise, and include all the expectations so that the person doing the work can then fulfill the expectations because they now know what you expect. That brings us to step number two to be able to delegate. Document whatever it is that you want to be delegated. It doesn't necessarily need to be in paper or, you know, type somewhere. Ideally, it would be. But it could be a video explaining what it is that you want to do or even could even be a, an audio explaining to them what, what it is that you're expecting. Step number tr- three is train. You must train them so that you make sure that they understand what it is that is expected of them. Just because you told them to, or even just because you tr- put it in paper, it doesn't mean that they are going to do it you know, equal or better than you. Step number four, critical, delegate. <laughs> so as you can see, it's actually a step in the process of delegation, but sometimes we forget to officially transfer the responsibility to that person. You know, sometimes we just tell them, hey, I want you to do this and I want you to do that. And then sometimes we're still doing it because we are afraid that they won't do it or, you know, we think that they may not be clear. So at some point in time, there has to be an official handoff of the expectation or their responsibility for that activity, whatever that may be. And that brings us to step number five. That is where magic happens. If you follow up, to make sure that things are being done the way that you expect them to do. In a way of, look, I'm here to support you and making sure that things are going in the right direction. I know you want to meet my expectations, but I, I'm going to, I'm here following up to see how things are going. So in case they're, you know, they're not going in the direction that I want, then I can guide you and redirect you in that direction. Being helpful, right? As, at the end of the day, you want to be an inspiring leader. And for you to inspire others, you have to be someone that follows up and supports your people to set them up for success. I hope that this was helpful. You can go back and make a list of all the things that you know are not being done equal or better than you and check those things against these five steps. And I promise you that one of the steps, if not more, are missing.